Welcome back to this. In today's episode of Learning to Code, we are doing the last bit on the Arc Furnace. I have, in between episode, mounted, uh, filled up the wall, I've mounted the active vent, and mounted a new pressure sensor. Same thing goes over here, so they are again the same. What we're going to do, look at today, is if you want to capture the gas of the ore. So, each ore. Let's go in here, let's say, let's say you're melting gold. Gold gives off oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and pollutant. Pollutant we don't care about, but the rest we could use for something nice. Silver gives nitrogen and nitrogen, nitrous oxide. The silicon again gives nit nitrogen, pollutant, and carbon dioxide. So they all give something different. Cobalt, if you want to melt that, gives nit nitrogen and volatile. So be careful about that one. <laughs> but yeah, as you, as you see, they all give something different. Some give the same, some give different. What we would do here? Well, first of all, let's just quickly pop in a reader so we can actually see what it is in there. So let's take that one. Uh, yeah. Let's pop it upside down because that's easier. Cable. Right, so let's read the gas sensor, pressure, currently it's 21 in there, similar to out here because I've just had the window open. You can see he's right up there on both, that means he's off and set to inward, meaning he's set to into the, to the vent. And same thing goes over there, so you will be sucking air into the pipe, which is very important to remember to check that. Um, what we could do as the easy way here is we do a we just place a logic that's not the one logic writer and let's see if this is enough so let's take this one the easy way um, would be without using this one so we want to put this one to re to write when this one is on so input is logic slot reader and we want the vent and we want on actually and turn it on and currently we have 21.99 yes let's turn him on and you see okay they're going down qu pretty quickly now that is quite nice and it's okay it's uh it's enough you don't need this one at all you actually just need this one and it will send it out if he's on but he is using a hundred watt so here you're using a hundred fifty no matter what so and you can't really do less in the logic way efficiently but you can over here uh, which we'll get to uh, I could show no i will show how, how we could do it here but it's it's not efficient enough this is the most efficient in terms of power usage here uh what i'm talking about 150 110 sorry they are using 10 each i'm mumbling uh yeah so what we what we could do is we could do a compare uh, we need some do we have them over here? Go away. What's that? Not take that. No. Move. Yes, there we are. So we want a compare unit. Like so. And get away. And we want to have a memory. We can put that there. Yes. There we are. Oh, just don't get too close that one. Then we want to pull some cables around, like so, like so. There we are. And this is probably the easiest way to do it. Um, because we can just now do a we will read that so on one we'll have 
Do I have a logic? No, we don't have a logic reader here. We'll take the logic reader and we'll take the memory greater than 21. So he is 0 0.1196, no, 996, whatever, and he is at 0. So if you put this one to, let's say, ah, if you hit there, if you say, let's say, 20, then he's 0. Good. And we take him on the, to the lot to compare, and he won't run now. So now we're doing 60. So we added another uh, 20 watts to do this. And we can now turn him off when we want to. And we add a little bit more ore. And see, he's not on yet. This is going up. Lovely. And you see there? Now he's he was on. And he only runs... I've set I've just to 5 because it took forever. But he only runs now when it reaches 5. And he sucks for a little bit, like a split second, and he goes down to 0 again. And then he will slowly go up. So this is, in terms of efficiency, probably better than doing just one, having on all the time. Because if he's on all the time, then you are constantly burning the 100 watts. Uh, now you, of course, are constantly burning 30 watts. So uh, ah, it's... It's, you know, what would you prefer? Constantly burning 100 watts or constantly burning 30 watts? Sorry, 110. It's enough. So 110 or 130. I'll just build it outside. I mean, both will work. Now, how would you do this scenario over here? Well, you know what that means. We will have to do some IC coding. So on last time, we did a simple on off occupant we're going to do another we're going to do another two here so alias and the uh, sensor d1 and we also want to do the alias vent d2 let's export this as you export it now you don't get any errors and the reason why i don't get any errors is because none of these are used down here we can actually remove that. We ah, we no, we gonna reuse it. So if I take in the sensor into this one, meaning I'm using it, you'll see it goes to error straight away. So not error, export, error. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's because there's no sensor here. Uh. Huh. I did not connect it. Lovely. That is just amazing. There we are. That's better. Let's take a screwdriver. Put a gas sensor here, put an active vent here. First thing first, let's send out the pressure. So set db r1, uh, no, setting r1. There we are, export that, export. Ah. Uh, let's remove that. There we are. Right, so we have 22.28 in there. Good. We want to, to turn him on and off at certain points. So, how are we going to do this? Well, we are going to do two jumps. 
So we're going to do two new functions. It's just, I prefer this, it's the easier. One is called start vent. And this one's going to jump start. And guess what? We get the next one's called stop vent. Stop vent. Again, J start. So how are we going to do it? Well, we want to jump down here and do stuff. So down here, we're simply going to set a vent, which is the device, on one. And again, down here, zero. Easy. We then want to get down here. So B, Q, T. Bats. Sorry, not bats. Branch greater than. So we want a branch to line if C to, to line C if A is greater than B. So A is there's R1, which is the pressure. And let's say 5.02. And then we want to do start vent. Let's do branch less than. Uh, when? When do we want to do it? Let's say if if two if R1 2.00 stop it. Let's see what this does. He's on and he's off. Good. Let's point or let's get some more ore down here. Uh, iron. So first of all, he's on now with all a lot of nice iron ore gold ore. He is going up very slowly. But as you can see with, with this, we actually have a maximum and a minimum. So max when we want to start and a minimum when we want to stop. Obviously because there's a small room and he's quite effective, he will remove everything. Which is fine, we can, but that means we can go higher. You can set it to whatever you want to. So let's see when he gets to five. Almost there. He's on. Lovely. And he's down again. And he's off. Yeah. That is a, a very simple way to control your 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 gas, your gas handling. Is it required? No. It's obviously now this is not f an option anymore in terms of efficiency. This is by far more efficient. It's doing 50 as normal, and we still have a lot of more code to, 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 to use. You see, we have so much more we could use if we want to. <clears throat> so it could do more. Anyway, this is all I want to do on the Arc Furnace. I think I've covered the Arc Furnace quite enough. Uh, yeah, one thing uh, I want to show here, and that is if you are unsure when you start your code about the mode of, of, of set vent, then if you go to the vent, let's say this is a code you're going to use several times. Let's go to active, uh, active vent right here. So it has the mode. Now the mode, outward, inward. So, if you do up here, set vent mode, let's say zero, then this code will only be run one time, and that is when the initialization of this code is happening. Basically, when you put it in. So, now we set it to one, that to zero, sorry, let's see what happens. Nothing changes up here. Let's uh, put away the screwdriver. Let's put them in. Again, nothing. Uh, let's just change that. Did I export? Let's just export first. So, let's put them in. 
And you see, he's now blue. If we do it again, to one, and export, you see he changes it there, but that's because you're also initializing him when you download, so you, 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 know, you when you export, sorry, you restart your chip. But if, if I went in, let's see, what do we have in here? We have nothing. If I went in here, Low pressure. and change that, Toxin yeah, he's not blue, but if I then take this one out, put him back in, he's red. So he will change when you put it in. So you, if you make a code that's functioning, then you can just put it in, put the mode, and then it's already good to go. It's just a good thing to remember. Um, but yeah, that is all for this time. On the next episode, we will probably look a little bit on some more sensors, the daylight sensor, and potentially some of the other sensors. Uh, and then after that, we are going on to a greenhouse setup. Um, but that's not going to be in this room. We're going to make two rooms controlled, one by logic and one by IC. So I'm going to make two identical rooms apart from what they're controlled, how they're controlled. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be a future video that I hope you're going to like. Until next time, take care, buddy. Bye for now.